Hey, uh, welcome to Taking Water Deep. I uh, once again I apologize for the delay. There was uh, uh, tech stuff like you know never happens in a, in a live stream. Never. Um, although uh, not as bad as the the tech stuff on uh, the stream I was on earlier. Uh, uh, like in, in counter roleplay, generally they they have their stuff together. They're they, uh, you know they're making great strides. They're they're you know they're they're, they're huge compared to me by you know easily. Um, but uh, they were having some issues. Uh, um, but uh, uh, I you know I, I shouldn't have even brought that up. It's just that you know. It, it happens. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm hearing some. Background noise on mine. So, oh yeah, there we go. Fixed it. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, I, I didn't mean it as a complaint, and uh, I can't complain because you know I I have issues often. Um, but how are you guys doing? Tired, but I'm good. Yeah, I I, I hear that the tired is going around. Does that? Oh, whoops. And I fought a Cthulhu monster. Nice. I guess we're and... having a late night. Just for evening uh, last night. Mostly for the weekend. Well, this is going to be, uh, you know, speaking of technical issues, this is going to be a, 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 a oh, okay, cool. I thought I, I had lost uh, all the windows, um, but but they're back and uh, everything seems to be more or less fine. I can I'll, I'll fine tune it when I get a chance. We all under the right name. Uh, no, no, of course not. Come on, that 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 that's way too much to ask. Yes. Oh, uh, and things are locking up on me. Okay. Wow. Um. Wow. Well, okay. I must be downloading too much porn. <laughs> I mean, really though, calm down. <laughs> the layer. Well, if you want to Believe that I'm downloading downloading too much porn? Yeah. As in the the. Like they don't go together. Oxymoron. Too much in porn. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's not that you need to stop downloading porn, you just need to stick your band with like a simple book of it. Yeah. Get Google Fiber. That's, yeah. That's to answer for everything. Google Fiber. I need to do that. That could work. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much it is. Yeah. <laughs> That would be nice. I don't. I don't think that's in the budget, but it would be nice. Oh, sure. No, I want to kill it. No, you leave my mic alone. No way. It's one of those things that I almost wish that. Mm. 
Wow. That, that would be great. <laughs> Not the fun you can get, it's just the concept you can, you can create and share with everyone. With that kind of bandwidth. I'm you know, just watching the show. I'm not watching you being born, Greg. I'd be hurt if I wasn't relieved. <laughs> oh, and, and Ziv, you're, you're breaking up a little. Um, like a little bit of robot voice. Damn it! How about now? A little better. Maybe the same. Okay, so, uh, I might be. oh, very cool. Oh, my, uh, this window isn't updating. Oh. There we go. Hey, Mikey. It is good to see you, as always. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it, and with the reviews I've seen and from seeing the trailers, I, you know, I, I, I am uh, looking forward to seeing it on Netflix. I'm not sure if I want to throw down, uh, like, you know, 12 bucks each to uh, go see it with the wife. Maybe. But, I have a, I've only got I don't a couple know. Said that they didn't, they had already bought the tickets and they didn't want to go see it, but they'd already bought the tickets, so they went. And they said that they didn't understand why it got such bad reviews. They thought it was cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah. The problem is, did you read the comics about the, about the, the Donald Justice beforehand yeah. or not? That's, that's the main difference. Yeah, I'm not a big DC person, so no. It's kind of like how X Men Origins Wolverine absolute blasphemy. Really? To watch. Oh man, that was horrible. I wanted to cut my eyes out. <laughs> Yet everyone I know was like, "It's an awesome movie." I'm like, "Dude, it's just a movie." Uh. Okay, I, I'm done fiddling with Windows. It's they're good enough. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's fine. You're fine. It could need a bit more light. A little more light. That could be good. I was hoping uh, for the science. And the stains. Oh. Oh, uh, everybody's a little bit low. Well, if everybody's a little bit low, you can just turn up the I volume. Think he, said but... it, he said it sounds good now. Okay. Okay. Did this thing uh, in depth type? 
one is a bit slow. Careful. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, friendly fireballs. Yeah. Um. So okay, where we left off, uh, you guys were still uh, trying to figure out which way to. Uh, uh, which way to go, right? Like, there's uh, uh, Did we too many options. There was options yeah. that we just couldn't do without uh, Pam being there. Yeah, that was Pam. We had to have Pam been. And we couldn't go over. And we did get along with Reston, right? Yes, we were sure. Alright. Uh... Well, why did we finish it up? Ah, yeah. Um, I had a question to Azazel just before we end the stream. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Brad slash Azazel didn't think about the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, then I'd be fully prepared and, you know, everything would go smoothly. Oh, uh, what was the uh, what was the question again? Uh oh. Uh, okay, uh, who got uh, uh, my, uh, my dad right now? According to Apollyon. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Apollyon says you don't mean anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Okay. No. no uh, correction. The question was. Uh, what the hell Apollyon meant when he said that uh, someone, someone else is hunting me now? Yeah. Um, so... Uh, 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 Azazel replies... Why were you talking to Apollyon? The ass wipe to uh, try to grab me inside the dream. Ah, interesting. Well, I would probably tell you if I knew. But the good guess is it's coming for the nine help, huh? Yes. Uh, they wouldn't outsource, as it were. To use a wild anachronism. You're in trouble. Yeah, I'm hanging around with you guys. <laughs> yes, because Thorin didn't put his name on... Uh, well, never mind. Um, so... Uh, no, I didn't put my name on that. Was there anything else? I... Well, I may not have a answer to your question. I also note that certain personages have yet to be turned over to me. Yeah, it's got a bit uh, complicated. I'll get it. Don't wait yeah, too long. I understand, but events are in motion. What events? Let's see. There's a certain meeting coming up very soon. In which, uh, your friend uh, 
might be uh, elevated. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, I know. Well. I have plans for that one, too. I did not hear that. No, we're going to have a just gonna, uh, giggle around a bit. Not just off house. And uh, the, the connection is cut. He's after Pam Van. Yep. Uh, Everyone else is inside my head. Why not have a demon? Yeah. <laughs> One. Yeah, I just want one of my own. Okay? Yeah. They're all the rage these days. Mm -hmm. That could be arranged. Everything can be arranged. Uh. Especially in the circles you're looking to join. Like that, yeah. <laughs> So, um, let me see, uh, options in terms of, uh, uh, things you can deal with, uh, let me see, any, uh, uh, any preparations you wanted to do for the, uh, meeting of the, uh, of the Lords, um, clearing out, uh, the uh, uh, Undermountain. Um, let me see. Uh -huh. Dealing with. Uh, oh uh, yeah, I got. I, I got know, dealing with maybe right. this thing right here. Uh, yeah, there, there's the beanstalk. The beanstalk. With all the giants on top. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, we got uh, to nab uh, uh, changeling. Yes, yes, Haven. Uh, that oh, meeting was. Haven? That meeting was coming up. Um, oh yeah, and I we need to um, uh, uh, clear out the Undermountain uh, for the dwarves. Oh yeah, we didn't. He doesn't know about that part. The dwarves. Yeah. yeah, they want to take over the Undermountain. The dwarves are come, planning to move into the Undermountain. Okay. My clan wants to move into the Undermountain. Twenty thousand. No, oh, two thousand of them are coming in. What? Uh, now. What was it? Fifteen percent. Yeah, a big, um, a large section of my clan is going into the Under Mountain. <laughs> no, but like 2,000 of them are coming of the first 2,000. Like, wasn't it like 15% or 20% or something like that? 15 a third. Are a third. A third, we're, a we're third of all going... the, uh, of the men are going to join the Xantorum and become part of us. You have a bunch of dwarves yeah. now. Assuming they have a, uh, you know, a home under the mountain to go to. So we gotta clean out the Ender Mountain to prepare their way. And I was saying that this is a, a good way that we could flood the city with things to take it over. And I couldn't, I, when I was asked to do this, I really couldn't say no because this, this is the cleric that took me in when my parents died and I owe my life to him. So I kind of had to say yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a poor situation. <laughs> so I think they sent him on his mission. Let me get this straight. Dwarves coming into the they, they want to occupy the Under Mountain. Yeah, yeah a whole bunch of them. We're talking about thousands upon thousands of them. And about uh, 600, something like that, of them would actually join the Zintarin as payment. Right. That would be quite good. Yeah. Plus, plus any resources yeah. that they get would probably have their skits on any kind of deal making. Plus, they're planning on mining gold and silver and gems out of the Undermountain. And we might get a cut. And we'll be able to get a cut. Because the great, the great thing is, is I will be the leader of the Dwarven clan down there. We will get a cut. No, Mike. 
their spiritual leader. Yes, I. I mean, if they well, can't clear out the things, 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 actually, we need to clear out, clear out the under mountain, we right? Need to map out and take over all the entrances into the city from the under mountain, mm -hmm. and we need to sort it out here in the guards for the legal part because effectively there's going to be a new city under the city. Right. The dwarven mm -hmm. city is going to be underneath Waterdeep. Yes. And it's probably about the same size. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Maybe. So, uh, I mean, that, that wasn't promised, but the, the numbers might add up that way. The numbers are impressive. Yeah, no, they are be, impressive. It'll be very good. It's just a matter of, you know, clearing out the undermine. That's That has been put on us too. Small catch. Yes, sir. Small yeah. catch. We have mm -hmm. to do it before they get there. I don't think to do some the and there's already dwarves, and the first shipment of together. dwarves are already in the city, by the way. How many dwarves did he say already came into the city? How many hundreds? Uh, he didn't. But he said it was the first ship. The first uh, shipment of settlers are in the city the already. Of the first yeah. 2,000 are in the city. Right. What was that in depth? I believe he said the majority of the first 2,000 are in the city. He yeah, did not dwarves, say that. So we're going to no. What did he say? The first wave is he, coming. Yes. He's already here. Okay. So basically, here. let so. me get this. Let me get this straight. We're being asked to clear out the entirety of the undermine. Correct. I don't know if it's the entirety or just a major section that the act of the city. Regardless, the situation even in the sewers alone is hazardous at best, and they want us to clear out what is essentially the stronghold of all these creatures. That are coming through into the sewers. Right. But you only need to cut the walls of it. That's, that's fair. That's fair. We, 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 we've we've already got the head. big guy. We took out the big one. Yes. Yes. The only problem I'm worried about now is is a number situation. Yes, it's great that we're going to have all this at the end game, but the problem is that we just have the ability to clear out this entirely. You know, it, it will be a multi. I'm not saying that we can walk in just today and have it done. This is going to be a multi-tiered. Right, we're going to take it one creature at a time. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to move on. Four creatures at a time. Yeah. How many ever it goes. <laughs> yeah, I no. think this is the point where we're actually going to start using the agents that you are training. If and we're going to establish a pitch head underground and uh, start clearing out sections. Precisely. We have to set up a base camp of some kind to get resources. Down below, yeah. I can, I can see, maybe even pull some strings and organize some kind we of... We figure that you're going to have some once you become a master lord, you're going to have some influence over re, re, uh, that would be, no, 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 I agree. That would be good resources and stuff. Yeah. Trying to, trying to pull in resources <laughs> for the, the uh, shall we say, uh, liberation of the Under Mountain from the monstrous clutches of other things. So to establish a economic figurehead in the form of the Dwarven Clan. Or part of a North the Dwarven nation down there. Of don't don't mine and bring wealth up from it. So. Yeah, no, of course it's it's a great economic motivator for the city. And Don and Jeff is still in the cookie. Oh, uh, Donnie, nope. yeah. Well, Donna. I'm here. I turned it that, off. That's that's something that that, that, that that I've got to we've got to get done to, to for I on behalf of my clan. Well, so, it seems yeah. like we can set up an early operation now. It's just a matter of. Time, okay, I agree with you, but time-wise, we have a few things more important. One right. is the uh, meeting of the lords. Precisely. Right. And before that, uh, we have the information about Slavin. Oh, we do. Yes. Yeah. We interrogated the, the lieutenant, and he's kind of uh, responsive. We have two options. Oh, and by the way, she's a, uh, a, a tiefling. Yeah, she's a tiefling, a wizard, or wizard. something like uh, that. She's a fairy. They're close to tiefling. Not exactly the same. Anyway, yeah. the point is this. We follow the meeting of the lords. He's supposed to meet her uh, at some alley and get an update on what is going on. And he's supposed to be present at that meeting. So. And he's meeting her face to face. Right. Now, one option is we nab him at that meeting. 
uh, I can uh, impersonate uh, her. And, it's, but, uh, it's better than than trying to nab him while he's in inside the Lord's meeting. <laughs> the other option is now we have a, an actual uh, a witness. We can actually nab him in the meeting. But that might be actually. Uh, She's willing be to testify against him. The question is to grab him before or, to, or during the meeting. Now, if I could, we don't know the complete makeup of the Lords and where they might be in any unseen faction. If we could secure him before, surely overwhelming him with numbers, uh, perhaps send a few recruits, okay. just surprise him completely and grab him there, I think it would be very beneficial rather than okay. try to deal with the political ramifications of our actions. Okay, uh, then I, I agree with you. Then we need two things. First right. of all, uh, we need to get from Never Ember uh, basically a warrant. Let's say we have enough information, we want to grab him. Make it legal. I agree. It's not going against uh, some schmuck or going against some, someone who's supposed to be a lord. Exactly. And we should set it up as a trap. Now, there's enough magic around here to make sure that if he goes into the alley, he cannot leave it no matter what he's doing. I can set up an anti magic shield around him. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best option to completely knock him out. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I can well, cast it where it's around him. Yeah, I know, but if you cast that, I cannot impersonate her. Oh, that's And right. she can't even impersonate her because she's using magic to do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Can't do that. Although, right. well, but I mean, to be fair, it, uh, uh, I, I could see that being part of the plan, though, uh, just because you don't want him to teleport, teleport away. Away. That's, that's the key. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. Well, around him, not around you. I mean, you just can't get too close to him without losing your cover. Yeah. Do we have any spells that can actually knock someone out, capture him, prevent him from doing anything stupid? I can grab him. And any sort of uh, semantic components. I, have I just have a terrible. <laughs> What's the wizard got? I've got your snooker agent. <laughs> uh, I've got counter spell. Actually, like it is, like it is. You see the bread that runs in beneath him and make a fifth call immediately, but that will work. Good night. Mm. I have scry. I got wall of fire. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Oh my god, you're useless. This is kind of great. <laughs> Still. Too late to yeah. blast fireball. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, one's an evoker. Yeah, we'll probably crush the digitation. Okay, I get it. Okay, so I'm, we need I'm to start the meeting and then uh, knock point. him out. Okay, we need to scout out that uh, corner and see uh, how many ways in and out there are there. We need to block them. We have a quick way to block them and anti magic to prevent him from leaving. Exactly. But not started initially. Uh, oh, I got banishment and anti magic shield. I got banishment yeah. as well. So we have a few tools. And yeah, I got yeah. counter spell yeah. as well. Counter spell will be very helpful, yeah. I got yeah. dispel magic. I have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any poison put in the knife? Actually. I think that's yeah. a good point, actually. actually, he does. He's got I plenty of poison. I, I have two more vials of that purple water poison sitting around. And yeah. Do you have anything hidden in all of the terminal? I do. Um, well, it's not terminal. It's, it's a paralysis. Oh, yeah. paralysis is good. Yeah. I do have seven magic items. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no more beans. Oh, we shoved one down. His... Hey, better yet, we shoved one down his throat. We don't want to kill him. He yeah, we have no out. idea what he's going to do. He'll grow out of him. <laughs> that's, that's what we think is going to happen. Yeah. Brad, why did you give him a new look? <laughs> oh, I am happy with how the how the magic beans have worked out. <laughs> yeah, we 
We got this giant beanstalk in our backyard that goes up to the giant, the cloud giant. We should, we, that might be something we need to work on pretty soon. Uh, yeah, because those cloud giants, that cloud giant might want to try to climb down the beanstalk and come after us. What about, we, we might uh, what about a way for the uh, mental communication? Do we have anything for that? I have telepathy. Um, but I can only can you set it, it up between uh, my, myself and the prisoner? Uh, I believe I can only set up between the prisoner between myself and the two of them. Yeah. It's not like, like the, uh, what is the, uh, what is that, um, telepathic, telepathic bond or link or whatever you call it? Yeah, telepathic Glory bond. Telepathic bond. Mm. Yeah, we, we need that. Bond. I think I can play a bit of, uh, messenger here. Yeah. With Bindab acting as a, uh, intermediary in terms of speech. Bindab, uh, how about you cough off a few coins to buy that spell with some uh, skill? The Glory's telepathic bond? Yeah, you need that spell. It's amazingly powerful. Yes. How much will it cost? Um, it's it's based on spell. You can no, buy, it's no. fair. It's like a fourth or fifth. Yeah, and you can you can buy a scroll of it from one a, a magic user that owns, has it. And or then said, and then I can learn it from that, right? Yeah. Go to our uh, friend. Okay. Friends, it's uh, a fifth level spell. Mm -hmm. Now, goods and services. Let's see how much it will cost. Um. Rarely, but it's good. How much yeah, does the yeah. scroll cost? Is that because well, they it gave costs, him a scroll? Let me check. Oh, I think it's actually under wizard. Because that may just be the cost to uh, describe it. Copy. So, okay. Yeah, he's got he's got the gold probably to buy it. Oh, I think he found like fifteen or something like that. Yeah. So, as a service, the sale would cost probably two hundred gold. Well, uh, depending on the spell, it's like a hundred gold per per level of spell. It, the old way. So but... so just to, just to copy it, basically. Yeah. So usually you double the, the price to buy it. That's the rule of thumb. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the so materials we, for for copying, it's uh, fifty per level. Um, right. But getting the access. Two fifty. Yeah. Two fifty to write it and yeah. probably another two fifty to buy it. Right. They already charge mm. it down. Probably, yeah. Uh, so you, you suspect gold. it'll be more than that, but uh, it's <laughs> yeah. There, I don't think that there's hard and fast rules on it. Wait, uh, no. unless you look at it as a DMG on buying a scroll of, of that level of spell. Yeah, uh, what's the DMG say level. about the girl, scroll of that level? Let's see. Oh. Well, I mean, the DMG doesn't have prices for, for magic items anymore. Uh, because they, they figure you can't just buy them. Yeah, I know. Let me look up. I got my unearthed arcana. I wonder what they used to cost. <laughs> oh, uh, well, that's, yeah, uh, they used to cost, uh, oh. like, uh, 2000 gold. Well, it, it was a it it scaled uh, exponentially based off of what level it was. Well, let's see, this level spell. No. Uh, 
Um, Well, it looks but, like I mean, the average spell was around two, 1,500 to 2,000 gold. Yeah. But that's... You for a thousand. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's under an old system, so... Uh, yeah. So that's the old system. Uh, I think it all comes down to, you know, to, to Brad, first off. Basically. I can find yep. it in a second off, but I can kind of try it. Well... What what was those guys that prote the protectors the mages that what do we call uh, them? watchful order of uh, the watchful mages order and, they're a yeah. bunch of they're a bunch of mages that we were actually friends with that we might be able to get one from them. Uh, possibly, I mean, uh, selling spells to non-members is not the business that they're in. Um, but they, they might be able to help you out. There's also the Torchal Academy that uh, you're, uh, you can be pretty certain will sell it to you. You don't know how much they'll charge. They, right. You know, but do not the price they Blackstaff. charge might not be fair, <laughs> but it might be. Just don't, just don't go to Blackstaff Academy. You ain't going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dangerous I mean, place now. Because it's actually Raphael Wong. Oh, Raphael. Yeah, he can yeah, he, Raphael. He might, yeah, if he has it, he might. Uh, but that's a he might catch thing, a, so Yeah, he might catch a, a great though. <laughs> get one for you. Mm -hmm. well, just follow comes to get a contact in the city for the Twitch club. So, uh, assuming you want to. Uh, Pursue this path. Uh, uh, how? Who do you want to go to? Which one? There's three choices. You can have Pambag go to Raphael, or you can go to the. Try, we can all go try the uh, protect, protectional order, whatever you call it. Or we can go to that school, that town, the uh, school, magic school. I just say we go to the magic school. Okay. That's a good one. Just because I don't have to, I don't have to haggle with you too much. Maybe. And I don't have to get around the fact that I'm not a member or whatever. Right. All right. That's that. where we're going. Okay. So a torchal academy. So I think the uh, fan band is allowed to go to get a wand. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I'll go with him to get the scroll. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we we're, we're paired up in twos in case something happened. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's do a, a, a Torchal Academy first. Um, so right. they have a, uh, a, a a large manor house. Uh, it, it's not a full castle, but it, it is uh, uh, it is pretty nice. Uh, and I could change up the. Let me see. I think that they. I'm not going to spend a lot of time searching them out, but uh, I think they're probably in the trades ward. Yeah. Um. And uh. So there's a. The person at the uh, front door. Uh, they should be kind of happy with us. We took out their competition. They started. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't share that knowledge, but. No. Well, actually, Slark can now because he's been freed from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tactically, you can, you, you know, you could spill, but yeah. it, it might not work out well. Who knows? Like going over the counter and just slapping my balls on the table. Yeah, here. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to think about it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, 
the person at the front uh, at the front uh, door, uh, you know, standing outside the the front door as a guard, uh, is wearing uh, uh, black robes and uh, has uh, uh, sort of dark brown hair and uh, eyes that that look uh, sort of through everything. Um, of a of a deep blue. Oh. Um, and uh, as you approach, she says, "Your business." I look at the little guy. We're here to barter. I need to say. Ah, that could. Perhaps be arranged. Uh, and he uh, starts casting a spell. Are you gonna? Uh -oh. oh, I'm I'm, Identify. I'm listening to see what this spell is. So uh, as a counter spell, I'm having it set up. Okay. Uh, roll your arcane. Okay. Yeah, roll arcane. To identify it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Sure he, he's casting message. Can't trip. Completely armless. Um, someone should be here to collect you shortly. Um, and true enough, uh, just like two minutes later, uh, a person opens the door. Uh, uh, they're uh, uh, female in a long uh, uh, emerald robe, uh, also with brown hair, but with a, a little bit of a reddish tint. Um, and uh, she says, you were looking to purchase, or was it barter? He said barter, but I guess I think he meant. I mean, purchase. we can start off with purchasing, but maybe exchange for some help later. Maybe not have to. But I don't have to leave with no little jingle in my pocket still. Well, come in. Uh, and uh, your spells are are. I, I am of the divine nature. I and do you know, she she takes you through uh, you know dark Hogwarts. Uh, there, there's a bunch of uh, you know apprentices around, uh, uh, mostly mostly reading, some uh, you know actual you know actually practicing uh, casting, uh, and she comes to a uh, a room that uh, uh, inside is like just a table. It's not very fancy, and the, the walls are uh, uh, mostly bare. There, there, there's a couple of tapestries, but they they don't look expensive. No, nothing uh, is and, like, nothing as elaborate as the, the <coughs> Black Step Tower used to be. No, no, not at all. <laughs> nothing that elaborate. No, this is the secondary school. Um, and she says, after you. I'll walk in. I'll go with him. Okay. Um, she gestures for you to take seats and says, So, what was it exactly you were looking for? I would know the nature of the spell, though. Sure. We, uh, we could uh, do business on, on that, perhaps. Uh, let's see, that is a uh, 
rather potent spell. It's a utility spell. You're real. <laughs> it's fifth level. Uh, it's fifth level. Uh, yeah, it's fifth level. Yeah. Assuming you don't. Do you need the uh, uh, materials for copying? Yes. Very well. Uh, I, I think I'll say kind of like yeah. that. <laughs> well, uh, some practitioners uh, maintain a stock. Uh, yeah. I believe that. Uh, 1,500 gold is a fair number. I'm just, I'm just an observer. Steve. Hey, I'm right. I swear, I'm going to try to get... It's the actor's final number. I'm sure I'm going to get it, but... I'm going to try to go lower. Offer a thousand. I think it's called a persuasion roll. Yeah. Yeah. Offer offer a thousand and then, and try to persuade him for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll offer a thousand. Then that seems more to go in the way for your your spell that way. Uh. Go ahead. Roll. Ooh. She uh, narrows her eyes and says, You approached us seeking magic and uh, not being a student. Oh, yeah, sure. And as I said, 1500 was a fair number. Uh, this insult of a counteroffer, I think, shall raise the price to 1550 Oh. Just charge an extra 50 gold just because of the insult. <laughs> oh. I, I think you go with it. <laughs> That's what I you really we need to spell, so go with it. Because I don't think you'll be able to roll persu persuasion roll any better than what you got. <laughs> I'm gonna grab sixteen hundred out. I'm gonna go. Oh, it was worth a try. And just slam it on the table. <laughs> it's like, oh well. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. And, uh, you know, gives you change. No. no? I'll put oh. it back. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, in that case, uh, I very much look forward to doing business in the future. Um, yeah, how long does it take him to describe it? It's going to take a little while. It, does I believe I, I I think it's it does it takes oh. whatever the time is from the prompt to do it because even after you can copy it you could test that and it might take more so because for the materials and stuff that you have to to go through okay um, I think the trade is I, I think that's so what costs the for about ten hours uh, yeah yeah exactly that's where, that's where the fifty gold comes in is the yeah. thing but I only pay half of it uh, due to your uh, gratuity you are uh, most welcome to uh, uh, do your copying here there'll be uh, no no charge for the room rental well take your time
half the time. So it would be five hours. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll start copying. But I'll just kind of uh, tell you to keep an eye. I'm like, are you going to say, do you keep an eye on me? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to be pretty concentrated on getting this done. Oh, if I, if I fall asleep and start snoring, just wake me up. <laughs> I'll have a fireball ready. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll put a delay blast fireball. In my pocket. To his face. So if he falls asleep and <laughs> falls on it, it'll go off. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. Alright, I'll I... start copying. Just a double talk. I was playing this in the old days, so we won't sleep. <laughs> How about so, I find that for you? It takes five hours. So 25 per hour, or 25 per level. Right. Or 125 gold. Well, well she, you don't buy the product. That that was including. Uh, that was including that cost. So. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was including the cost for materials. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. It so it's... That's how you stay awake. Oh yeah. What is this? Torture device. Oh. Yeah, that is the that is how you stay awake. Oh. Yeah, this is on the stream. What? Never ever got two uh, uh, beholders in the castle too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No. Who knew? Uh, well, where do our beholders go? There. Well, is, see, this, 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 this castle was not. was originally uh. Degault is like this map. So, his, his, I, I, his I castle is identical thing. to ours. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know how that worked out, but you know. but we have the same, almost the exact same castle he has. So. Okay, so we're at his place. Yeah, we're we're still they are. We're looking at his place now. Okay. Because he, yeah, it's crazy. He's got a vine going there, but we've got a stock going exactly in his place as well. It, it's been a that's that's the second one you dropped. Came out over there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, Go figure. And, and, and for some reason, our guards are actually uh, guarding it. Okay. No. <laughs> I was very interested in what was going on here. All of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is pretty weird. It looked like it was. <laughs> no. Yeah, Degault, he broke in. He's like that. No. Okay. Yeah. I'll remind you to be careful stepping clear. into the uh, foyer. The, the Bozeman that he has. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, just not yeah. afraid of them anymore, huh? Got a big official life. There's that. Um, so, uh, you get to the, his castle. Yeah. And, uh, there are uh, there are some guards uh, up in the parapets. Uh, and uh, as you approach, they, they say, State your business. Social man. Do you have? Oh, you. <laughs> that's all he needs to say. Oh, that's you. Uh, okay. Just a moment. Um, and uh, a couple minutes later, the the front gate opens. Us again uh, at the defense. At just the defense, or uh, he's more welcoming this time. Um, I think that 
Yeah, he's he's right there. Yeah. Rather than outside. Yeah. You got the gates closed. Yep. <clears throat> but he does say, uh, gentlemen, welcome. What is it that. Time. Hmm? Has it been a long time? It has. And. Uh, yeah, quite a few things good. have changed. Mm. Yes. Uh, what brings you? Um, I suggest we walk a little closer to the fence. Uh, we don't need to have the entire. Uh, Archer hearing this as well, in case any of them are part of the unseen. Of course. Of course, of course. Go up to the fence. Yeah, whisper. <laughs> okay. Uh. By all means. I mean, you, to be fair, you've come up with the evidence, so I understand. Well, this is a bit of a mess, but uh, we'd like to have a warrant issued so we can uh, follow through with uh, the evidence we collected for the arrest of Lavin, the doppelganger. Well, um, also known as uh, uh, I mean, what, what's his official name is right um, now? Uh, Nindil Jalbuk, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. Also known as currently as Nindil Jalbuk, as among other names as well. Oh, well, that's a little different. Uh, what, that's why we came to you. What uh, evidence do you have? Eyewitness. We have his lieutenant uh, willing to testify to this. Hmm. Hmm. And who would that be? Uh, uh, her her name was uh, Nell Arison. One of her name is Nell Arison. But I don't see that, that will give you any uh, help. Most of these, most of these individuals will have uh, five to six names. Yes, I'm afraid it does not. Hmm. We've been tracking this organization for, for some time. We made a few hits against them uh, underground. But mm. this is as close as we can get right now to actually capturing the head. And, and you like do understand the implication of having one of the masked lords under the influence of the unseen in such a direct fashion. I do, and I, uh, uh, if uh, what you've been told is accurate, uh, it is certainly a, a matter that I would want to uh, resolve. Um, do you have any other evidence? Very simple one. I do There's have... There's the vote coming up, so right? For something, doesn't really matter. It's supposed to be the right. Give us the warrant, and you will see that he will magically won't be in the meeting. I don't know. That'll be the, that'll be the best proof. The problem mm. is, from what I understand, this is... Something called a greater uh, doppelganger. They actually eat the brain and get the entire knowledge of that person. Oh, really? Yeah. It seems so. So, yeah, that kind of says that the original is dead. Hmm. 
I've, uh, this is a lot to take on faith. If, uh, have we ever if, lied to you? <laughs> how, how were you uh, planning on uh, apprehending this uh, greater doppelganger? Coming to the window of the window of the people that uh, where he will be and when, and they will arrange a sort of trap. Yeah, it won't be too big of a doing, but we'll handle. Well, we handle a lot of things. <laughs> you should say that. <laughs> we handle a lot of things for you. The only reason that we make, we make, okay, there are two things here. We need, a, we need a one because he does have such a public name. Indeed. And that uh, will create a stir. The second thing, once we get this and it is become known that uh, you authorize this, this is a good point for you as well. Well. Uh, if uh, it turns out that all the information is accurate and he doesn't weasel out, then yes, uh, it, it would be somewhat good for me. Uh, yes, if it blew up, it would It'd blow bad. up badly in my face if I were to have uh, authorized the warrant. Okay, I'll ask this in another way. Suppose there is no warrant officially and we go out and we do this business will you or will you, will you stand against it if it comes out to be true <laughs> uh certainly if uh, uh if i know uh nothing about this business and you uh bring him in and uh, uh the story should be proved true or the situation appears that it will be very very much provable then uh you will uh have no trouble from me uh and You say that this uh, this person has many identities. Uh, if you can perhaps uh, capture them and knock them out while they're in uh, some other form, then I see uh, uh, no reason why uh, it should not uh, go very smoothly. I don't think he's supposed to come in as a lord into that situation. No, it's supposed to be someone else in that one. Yeah, it becomes pretty annoying to try to uh, keep track of who needs to be whom mm. and when. Do you have to have a name on it? Can you just say... The point is, if I'm, we are right and we capture him, uh, a certain lord might not appear to the meeting, and it would probably be uh, advisable that should he not make it into too much of a steer right away. Well, um, there are times when only seven lords show up, so. <laughs> <laughs> to a meeting. So, um, the, the attendance is not really uh, kept track of very well. I assure you, if you uh, bring an unconscious doppelganger to the palace, not my palace, but the palace, yeah, I understand. Uh, there shall be no, uh, there shall be no uh, unpleasant political ramifications for you, or legal ones. And just a quick validation. Who are his main allies right now at the council that he can consider as friends? 
my allies? No. No, 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 no. Oh, his. Hard to tell. That, all masked. Yes. <laughs> that is a question I would certainly like to know the answer to. Whether or not he turns out to be a doppelganger, that would be very useful. He certainly has not uh, uh, played out his hand as to where his uh, uh, loyalties lie in, in regards to myself. Is there anything else that you need? No, I think we're all good. Excellent, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. Mm. Right. All right. Um, okay. Uh, five hours have passed, and he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. So, I mean, do you guys, uh, assuming that uh, Donnie is going to be back any moment, do you guys want to uh, uh, jump to the uh, jump to the meeting? Thing before the meeting. Actually, let's make, the, make sure that we set up the ambush. Um, we need to scout out the alley. Right. right. Okay. Because the, the alley's meeting is supposed to be before the meeting. So we got to get yeah. that done first. Okay. Uh, I'm sure mm -hmm. after five hours we head back to the, the meetup with them. Yeah. 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 I, I'm assuming that as well. Yeah. Okay. And I need to do a bit of uh, clean up here. Oops. Yeah, get the gold out of here. <laughs> well, not that. Yeah. I mean, put our beholders back. <laughs> uh, no, well, I mean, there's not really any hurry on that in particular. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna be yeah. hopping maps. Um. I, I see my cleric still here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. My dwarven buddy, he's still sitting in that room. <laughs> that I left him in. Ooh. Okay. an alley. So, uh... It's blurry. Yes. Yeah, so, uh... In this alley, I was a beggar. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's been uh, a a useful map from time to time. Yeah, I remember. I oh. recognize this alley. I just need to get rid of them too. All right. Okay. I think that's all the leftover stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, <sighs> what end of the alley are we looking at? Okay, so. It's, uh, well, okay, do you bring, so she told you which alley it was going to be in. Uh, I'm not sure if she indicated what part of the alley exactly. Uh, I think we can, get the, all the, all the, we can get all the information if you're trying to set up the ambush and uh, yeah. know what, what it would be. Yeah. Um, and she just says the, you know, the, uh, when you, uh, you know, grill her about it, she just says the southern half. Come again? She just says the southern, the southern half. half. So down here next to these benches. Something like that, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to place Slot at the place where, where it should be. Let's say uh, probably by this cart. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we got a tab for Dom that can be fitted to the main straight, right? Yes. We got a tab to the left that leads to another alley, and to the right enters into a, a public thing. Right here, yeah. And us, of course, to use the rest of the alley. All right, we're down here. Uh, oh. Uh. So, first of all, we need a spot nearby where uh, Owen can hide and, if necessary, set up an anti magic field, right? Right. <clears throat> Welcome back. Somewhere over in here. Maybe even in, uh, hiding inside the crates. Over here. Yeah, inside the crates so we won't see you. Right. And uh, bring the other two down. Here we are. And I'm guessing the wizard. Where do you want to put the wizard? Uh, Binda, uh, does it? Ha does you? Ha do you have the invisibility? Yes. Ah, uh, but no. But you uh, do you need to concentrate on that? Is or not? It doesn't matter. No, you don't have to concentrate on Larry. It's just good for an ally. Yeah. Okay. So you should be hiding somewhere uh, to the south of me, uh, invisible, and well, depend on who we can then. And we need a way to literally block off the entire area. So we might have the, pe the people around with the uh, cars that they can move over. Somebody with a car on this side and one on this side just moves and blocks this section down here off. Yeah, something like that. Now, what do we do about magical traps? Uh, hmm. <clears throat> uh, there is a grate right here we might want to keep an eye on. It goes down to the source. Presumably. And a well. Yeah, and there's a well there too. I think we'll have to figure this way we can get to the well. Uh, I don't want to take chances. Uh, actually, uh, we can get some of the debris over the grate. So it looks more natural. Right. Yeah. And guarding the well, I don't want to collapse it ahead of time. Mm. No, we want to leave the well intact. Alright. Well, uh, usually, usually wells at that time had a, a nice cover, which is basically a, a wooden lid. You can, you can just put it back on. It, 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 it's not something that you cannot remove, it just takes time to remove it. Right. Okay. Put the lid on it. So we put the lid on, on the well, we just put the, the bridge on the grate. Right, so it's not... Easy to uh, remove, go move the grate. Yeah. Okay. You, you should have counter spell ready and uh, banishment, so we can reset and uh, surprise him again and again and again, basically. Right. And, uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, <sighs> how much uh, poison do you have? I have two vials. Two vials. Two stab is full. Both are. Both our constitution saves are 19. The, the purple worm poison or the. Uh, yeah, the purple, purple worm poison. Okay. It paralyzes. Uh, I thought the purple worm poison just did damage. I mean, there, there certainly yeah. are poisons that uh, are paralytics. What is hidden with paralytics? Uh, no, it's, it's purple, purple, purple worm is very lethal. Yeah. I mean, with this son of a bitch to get. Yeah. Um, here we go. One sec. Um, Purple worm poison. I think you can figure out a place where we can trade one of those veils to something extremely paralytic. Uh, you find a uh, well. I mean, you can probably track down a uh, uh, 
disreputable uh, apothecary. apothecary. Let's see here. Uh, purple worm poison. Let's see. Do do do. Fortitude saving throw. Oh, here we go. Right here. Um, takes. Um, purple worm poison. Harvested uh, damage range attack to a purple worm. Creature subject to this poison must make a DC 19 Constitution save, taking 42 12 d 6 poison damage on a failed one. Okay, so this isn't just damage. Never mind, I'm sorry. Damage, yeah. It's gonna hurt. It's all on no, it looks like you don't need to be hurting. That's fine, but the. Uh, <laughs> I think it you need a poison. Place that with, uh, maybe it'll replace one of the vials or something if you bring this early. Let's see. Mm-hmm. DMV poison. D. I mean, there's Drow poison, which might knock it out, which is possible, given the uh, Undermountain situation. Um, Alright, poisons. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, Drow poison would do the trick, uh, assuming you failed to save. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh... Carrying crawler, uh... Carrying. Which is just contact as well. Yeah. That's not even injury. I just have to hit him with it. Right. Yeah. And there are definitely carrying crawlers in the sewers. There's, yeah. There's yeah. Some, yeah. Uh, so some of uh, your recruits have, have found that out to uh, to their woe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will target and suffer contact. Yeah, so we should we should look for a uh, apothecary. Yeah, we you already knew about it. We went there once. I do recall. Uh, at the very beginning. Yeah, we first, I mean, you you can just yeah you can just pick it up at cost at the you know normal price for those. Yeah. <clears throat> so like two hundred gold for a dose. All right. Yeah. So, not at that cost, get me a vial of this vial, put it on my silver belt. Alright, yeah. Or maybe another similar poison, just to have a different effect. I mean, drought poison is... There, there is one that puts them to sleep. Uh, makes them unconscious, actually. Yeah. But I, I think they're all DC 13 uh, yeah, con DC. saves. Are they unconscious? Yeah, anything that paralyzes or, or knocks out is going to be that. Yeah, yeah. I, if I uh, could specify the uh, carrying crawler nature, this one I would specifically apply for this situation, just because drow is more you have to scale by more. Huh. <clears throat> And one of the cards that we used to block, we set up enough gear that you can literally make, prevent him just casting anything, like signs for his hands and fingers, a, a ball gag. Hmm. I can't give out it, just enough to prevent him from doing anything magical. Yeah, you could literally throw it onto a, the outside of a glove and shake hands. Okay, uh... <laughs> you could also disintegrate <laughs> He keeps talking about okay. disintegrating. From, from, a, from a prisoner, uh, do they actually make physical contact uh, or, uh, during the meeting or not? Um, usually not. Usually not. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay, Boba Fett. <laughs> no disintegration. Only if it turns into a battle. Then you can disintegrate. I mean, ideally, no, but... That'd be so much fun. Um, actually, don't disintegrate the floor. It might lead him to the doors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we don't do that. Don't disintegrate it. <clears throat> Uh, wait a second, uh, is there any kind of roofing or uh, part or uh, netting above the, above the alley? Uh, no. 
yeah, it, it's open air. There, I mean, the the roofs uh, above the buildings do go out another like two feet or so, but that's about it. Okay. Considering it will have a lid on uh, the water, uh, the, the well, bit of, bit of considerable there. <laughs> yes, yeah, sit, sit on the well, the lid of the well, when you're invisible. That's where you'll be sitting, is on top of, on top of the lid of the well. You're small enough, light enough to do it. Okay, so we know what we're gonna do. So ahead of time, we need to. Cast try to set up bond, especially between me and the prisoner. And how many people is that maximum six? So we yeah. can have all of, all of us as well. Yeah, you can get us all. 